Hey everyone, welcome to Bickering Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. And today we're talking about Ready to Fall by Marcella Pixley. And so this book is... After Max's mother dies, the cancerous brain tumor that killed her sets up residence in Max's brain. The tumor is a terrible tenant and makes it impossible for Max to live a normal life. In order to keep Max from failing, he is sent to a more progressive school with a stronger focus on... I'm not really sure, quite sure what this environment was better for, only that it was different. Um, but with the help of a new friend, the monk, and pretty girl slash possible love interest Fish, Mac Max begins to come out of his grief and begins interacting with the world. Not come out, come out, but just come out of his grief. So. <laughs> just clarifying. Um, and I got a copy of this through Nick Nick Kelly. Kelly. I want to say yes. I actually had a physical arc of it, too. Um, I don't know where I got it. So there were things about this book I did like. Uh, it's beautifully written. Like, the actual, like, it's almost poetic, the way that the words are put together. Yeah, I think it's concise. I don't think that um, the author spends too much time in words that don't mean anything. I think it is very well written. I think it it's it's quick, and it's well put together. I like the fact that it's about a boy having feelings. Boys don't That's usually true. get to have feelings. And Max is deeply, like, he's in grief, and he's mourning. And a lot of these books, the boy's mom dies, and he's like whatevs, she's gone, peace out. Um, I like the fact that it's about the Jewish faith and that they actually do celebrate in their moments of, like, they show you Hanukkah. I liked that. Well, and I like that they um, showed the kind of the grief process, the funeral process. Right, and they talk about, like, she couldn't be embalmed and that kind of stuff. Right, which was, which you don't, I mean, you really honestly you don't, don't, you don't see, see it very that. often. So um, I didn't like the characters. I didn't like the characters either. I specifically didn't like the brain tumor. And I know I'm not supposed to like the brain tumor, but it was annoying. And as, and I think I liked the book better as it went on because I think the brain tumor was no longer a key feature of the story. See, the brain tumor didn't bother me because I could see where that was going. What bothered me was when he goes to the school and he meets the monk and Fish and Mr. Cage, the teacher, all of the characters feel... So over the top, like you're reading something that's like 15 year old, 15 year olds doing scenes in school plays. Like there's gonna be a lot of hand waving and screaming, and it just it made the book move from being this realistic fiction to a melodrama. And it's hard to say that because while the plot didn't work for me and the characters didn't work for me, the actual writing was still beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I can I can agree with all of that. Um, because there were a lot of, like, unrealistic things going on that, like, really kind of made it hard for me to get into this book. As far as, like, why is he going to this progressive school? It's not like it has a psychological focus. Right. So really, what's the point? In, like, he's having grief trouble. He cannot exist in life. Why are we sending him to this school? It makes no sense. And then also, I really super had a problem with the interactions with the teacher, Mr. Cage. Not all of them, but one, like, very specifically I had trouble with. Near the end, not going to get into it because I don't want to give any spoilers away, but it really bugged me. It bugged me how it occurred, what happened when it was going on, and then all of the consequences and fallouts of it. It just, it bugged me. But the story, like, but some of the plot, like, as the story went on, some of the plot points I thought were interesting. I just think, realistically, it didn't all work together, and the characters were caricatures. And like I said, it's hard to rate it because of the fact that you have these positive things. You have this portrayal of a boy in emotional pain and dealing with emotional pain. You have a father who is trying. You don't often see single fathers who are trying as hard as his father's trying. You see... Um, his the the Jewish faith. So these are things that I really appreciated. And then, but then you go to, but there were these parts that were really not good. So it's hard to like stick a rating on it. Yeah. But we probably just should. Because this is this is the author's first book, I believe. Is it? So I mean, I think it's it's a solid first start. I think, yeah. and so I think I would read more by this author as it comes out because I yeah. think that. Growth will happen, and it will, and I think that it will grow to. She, the author, will grow to be a great. And to, honestly, the like I said, the poetic style of the writing—that's something you're born with. You can't learn to do that. So there is a lot of talent there. Um, so I guess 
Let's just read it. it. Yeah. Okay. So our rating scale goes from five unicorns down to two unicorns. And if it is poopy and doesn't deserve a horn, it gets, it's a horse. So I'm going to go, I'm going in the middle because there was stuff I really liked. There's stuff I really didn't like. I'm giving it a three. I would read more by her. I think that there are some aspects of this book that are wonderful. And so I did genuinely, generally like it. So yeah, three unicorns. I'm going to go with three unicorns as well because it was a struggle to get into this book. But once I was there, I was pretty happy with the The writing was great. Um, the Some pieces and parts of the ending still don't sit well with me. But all in all... It was a solid three. So, all right. We'll see you around. Bye. Bye.